What's up boys? We back with some more zombie updates. There's a new map, new game mode. There's now an item pool where you can banish stuff you don't want. So I'm going to try and blitz through the new map and modes on that. And I think I'm just going to do a rapid fire weapon build for that. So I'm going to banish everything that doesn't help me with that. And see what we can do with that. Probably won't need that for short runs. Survivability? Nope. Uh, that's one point. Might be okay. That doesn't do anything. That's damage. Uh, probably won't need that. That's okay. Probably don't need that. That's pretty good. That's okay. Uh, instant reload is okay. Probably won't help in the short modes, although I definitely want that for longer stuff. That's okay. Magnets, elemental. I don't think I'm going to use that for a rapid fire weapon build. Going to be going with non elemental stuff there. Uh, if I get that early, it might be okay. Probably don't want to lower my movement speed for now. Probably not going to use elemental based stuff. I have 11 left. Weapon damage is good. Banish probably won't need that. Dodge and movement is okay. Probably won't need ability stuff. That's okay. No elemental. Probably don't need that. Eh, maybe. That might actually be decent here. 100% health. Nope. Five left. Eh, that's probably good enough for now. I don't want to spend a ton of time looking through that, but that will make the weapon pool a lot easier to do. So I want either SWAT or tank. They both get very fast attack speed weapons. So let's head into the basic mode here, and there's supposed to be some new music, which sounds cool since there was some pretty good music in the other stuff. I wonder how much damage does that do? Looks like 45 for one tick in the acid pool. So I'm going for the assault rifle SWAT plus the minigun on tank and just blasting everything as soon as possible. And probably just going to run it back multiple times across the various game modes because I don't really want to mess with the item pool setup every single time. There's supposed to be some new enemies here. Let's turn the music up a little bit since it's kind of hard to hear here. So, pistol... Uh, let's get a level in Ricochet to have that functionality. And then pump the pistol and go for the assault rifle ASAP. Pistol... Almost sounds like sort of a Viking game music. Get the pistol. Oh, there's one of the new enemies, that Screecher dude. Kind of hard to see them when they're right next to a tree like that. So, probably the boss into weapon cooldown and attack speed. Got some more pistol. That's ready for the first evolution. Got the submachine gun. That's a pretty big upgrade for early on. Take the ricochet. Got more ricochet. That scream lasts quite a while, so that's going to create some pretty big zones where you can't move for a while later on. So out of these, I do have some banishes. Probably won't be using ability stuff much here. Um, probably want to push the crit chance, since there's one item that's extremely good and dependent on that. Got the ricochet. 
Ricochet again. That'll max that out and remove it from the pool at least. So hopefully I get tank here, but I will probably grab Huntress for the crit chance. Got some arrow penetration. These guys can take quite a few hits there as well. Some machine gun. So the screechers combined with the acid pulls together is going to be a lot of area denial against the player on this map. So, probably the instant reload, I think. More deeps. Some machine gun, one more point, and then that's ready for the evolution. Some machine gun. I guess probably the decoy here. It draws attention and does a bit of AoE damage. Eagle eye or bow. Let's get the crit to ramp the assault rifle up once I have that. It's going to do most of my heavy lifting early game. Don't have the tank here. I could reroll since I don't really need them for a shorter run. And there we go, the tank. If I just wanted to get the Assault Rifle as soon as possible, then it probably would have been better to just skip that and liberate them for the free level up and the smaller upgrade pool. So it's going to be a bit harder to find stuff now. Maybe I do some rerolls and look for the Assault Rifle. The Sniper Rifle actually was buffed, and I believe it got more range on it. Sniper again. There we go, Assault Rifle. that already has the max ricochet for some more AoE. Take the attack speed. Get some more eagle eye. Get some assault rifle levels. Bow. Uh, not great. Probably just look for some weapon stuff. Weapon cooldown reduction is not bad. Did the decoy always laugh like that? I don't remember that. Take the shotgun. Now the assault rifle is basically fully online and starting to shred stuff. Assault Rifle at level 3. Got the Eagle Eye maxed out for the extra crit and damage. Uh, 
Let's reroll that into the final assault rifle level. Big weapon damage looks pretty good here. Let's reroll that into shotgun. Probably reroll that. Fury Unleashed, sure. Some buffs to weapon damage. Although with no ability scaling, I won't have the best uptime. Probably banish ability crit chance. And probably reroll that. I guess I'll take a legendary. Oh, there's some homing things now. Take some more decoy, bow, fury unleashed, uptime. Oh, that guy looks cool. Got some shotgun. Got some bow. It seems like you might want some movement speed early on on this map with the homing things and the super fast werewolves. Got some shotgun evolution. Ah, uh, that's okay. Maybe reroll here. Not great. That will help a little bit with my buffs, I guess. And it's only one point. Got some multi-shot for the bow evolution. Got some pump action. Let's banish the ability and grab a bit of movement speed. Got some Fury Unleashed cooldown reduction. Got some pump action. Try and get that one finished off so I can get the minigun for the full rapid fire build. There we go, mod chip is fantastic. Actually could lock down that, that's pretty good for a weapon build. Now we have very strong crit chance scaling so I should try to prioritize that as a stat.
got the minigun perfect. I guess if you wanted to go the absolute max rapid fire weapons, you would want Engineer instead of Huntress, since his laser weapon hits very quickly. But having the Huntress helps you get a lot of crit very quickly in a short run like this. Doesn't matter quite as much in the endless mode where you're going to be capping it out anyways. Oh, okay, that was pretty fast. Got some more minigun. <laughs> Got some weapon stuff that I locked down. Don't really care about the other stuff there. Got some more fury unleashed and that's maxed out now. Should have pretty good uptime if I've killed a boss recently. <laughs> Got more minigun. So let's banish the ability damage. And I would really like to get some more crit chance to go with that other thing. There we go. The mod chip. Wow, that hit me even as I was running away from the palm. Got some multi shot. Got some minigun. That must be the guy who's casting the homing things. The shaman looking dude there. Got some more multi shots. Got some big weapon damage, sure. That golden key might have been good early on, but the run's over halfway over now, I think. Let's go with the freezing arrows, I suppose. Honestly, one of the best weapons in the game. Not terrible damage when you combine it with the piercing, and it just gives an insane amount of crowd control to help you avoid stuff. Got some more freezing arrows. More freezing arrows.
get some big weapon damage. Attack speed is probably fine. That'll also help me get more crits, which then ramps up my weapon stats further. More freezing arrows. Did I even get hit by there? What? Got some arrow penetration. The more enemies you hit with arrows, the more mod chip ramps up and then scales you up even further. I guess some saw blade. Eh, they're not really getting close to me. I'll just take bombing strike. Automatic turret, maybe. am I taking damage from? Uh, automatic turret, probably. Weapon damage, crit chance is pretty nice. I could take that, since I can mostly just stand still at this point. More arrow pen. I guess the homing things make it take a long time for you to be able to stand still, though. Yeah, okay, maybe that wasn't a great item after all. Take the decoy. I'm just randomly taking damage stuff from stuff with no graphic playing at me. Bizarre. Probably some weapon crits. Turrets. Actually, probably should have gone whip or uh, bow pin. Oh well. <laughs> More weapon damage crit. Bit too late to get these now, I think. Got some more turrets. <laughs> Finish off the arrow pen. I don't think these make a huge difference at this point. I'll get Bombing Strike for the AoE clear.
That's kind of weird. Those guys can off-screen you like that. Like, they're just sitting off screen, you can't even hit them, but they can hit you with ranged attacks. Probably the weapon crits. Try and make that as consistent as possible for the mod ship. Decoy. More bombing strike. Uh, let's banish that and see if there's like some crit or attack speed. There we go. Game extremely fast, wow. Probably Arrow Rain or Minefield, actually, I think is not bad. Minefield. More weapon and crits. Got some more minefield. Seems like the one hit mode is going to be really annoying though if you take damage this often without even getting hit. Take minefield max. Probably grenade trail. Grenade Trail. Like, I'm just randomly taking damage for no reason. I'm not even close to the poison puddle there. I think it's about to end 20 minutes, right? Yeah, there we go.
I'll try the super rapid fire with the engineer and see how that feels next time. So if there are any electric bands, I might want to remove those. Man, there's still a lot of useless stuff even after that many bands, crazy. So, SWAT again for the cooldown reduction, but I want to grab Engineer as one of my secondaries. I'm just going to do the 20 minutes to beat the mode. And then go for the harder difficulties, or harder game modes I guess they are. Got the pistol. More pistol. Pistol. Yeah, one hit mode seems like it's going to be really rough on this map. There's so little room to move around, and then you're also sometimes taking damage without even getting hit. So we've got weapon cooldown. Got the submachine gun evolution. I think I'm actually going to liberate the survivor and try and get the assault rifle online ASAP. So we've got Ricochet. Submachine gun. Submachine gun. SMG. Ready for the assault rifle now. That is really close even when you're just constantly running from it. I could get some value from that since it's pretty early. Sure. Sniper, let's re-roll for the assault rifle. There we go. Assault rifle. I might not even be able to get this guy with all the dudes chasing me right now. Yep. 
Yeah, it seems like there might be too many bosses over here right now. More assault rifle. Big ability damage. Do I care about that here? Probably not. Probably just the attack speed. Assault rifle maxed out now. So I could definitely use another survivor. Ricochet is pretty good. Probably the turret. So, Engineer has the laser weapon, which hits pretty fast as well. Taser, need to upgrade that to get the evolutions. Uh, none of those are that good here. Might just reroll for some damage. That's okay for ability stuff, and it's one point, I guess. That'll help me keep the tank's buff up once I get him going. Yes, some electric turret. Got the tank. Let's get the buff going. More taser. Big weapon damage. I could grab that for a lot of XP. Ah, eh, sure, it is pretty early. Probably banish the ability damage. Look for something more useful. Movement and cooldown are both pretty good. Let's lock that and grab the movements. Electric turret, I guess. Got some more taser that's ready for evolution now. Got some automatic turrets, plus more automatic turrets, plus nothing useful. Tesla evolution, shotgun. Tesla. 
Yeah, it just seems like you take so much damage without even getting hit on this map. Don't really know how you would do one hit mode with that. Probably have to have the Medic Revive, I would guess. So, Tesla. Weapon damage, looks pretty good. Maybe lock that as well. Got the locked weapon over there. I can banish ability. Uh, nothing great here. Probably energy shield. I guess getting some big early movement speed would be pretty helpful as well. take the automatic turret to max that out. I think the medic's temporary buff also increases movement as well as attack speed, so that would also help on top of her revive. Take some electrocution, or actually electric turret's almost maxed out. More Tesla, that's ready to turn into the laser now. And that has a very fast attack time, I believe. More Fury Unleashed. Weapon-based stuff. Does that stay locked down if I don't take it? I'm not sure. Got some weapon crit chances. Great. Let's banish the ability duration. Got some more laser. Turret that's maxed out and out of the pool now. More laser. Probably electrocution. Actually, doesn't one of these stun enemies when it hits them? I forget which one. More energy shield. 
more laser that's maxed out now. Um, I don't think any of these are great at this point. It's getting kind of late for XP based stuff. Get the weapon crits. So I guess the thing I had locked down doesn't stay if you don't take it there or lock it down again. Makes sense. Probably energy shield. Got some weapon crit chances, pretty nice. Probably banish the ability stuff. There we go, Maw Chip is fantastic for all the weapon builds, especially for a full rapid fire build. Take the energy shield max. Actually, no, Fury Unleashed higher up time on the weapon buff is pretty important. More... well, I guess I can max that out and then it'll be a bit easier to hit shotgun now. I suppose. Damage and crit chance is pretty nice. Crit chance is super important, so only 40% there. Armor, eh, probably don't care on here. Let's see if I can get some crit chance or attack speed. Grenade, that's maxed out.
shotgun. I think one or maybe all of the electric spells actually stun enemies the first time they hit them. I don't remember the exact mechanics on it, but it's pretty helpful. Let's probably lock that and finish that one off. Take the electrocution. Bombing Strike has decent AoE, I think. Electrocution. I can max that out and then it'll be easier to hit the shotgun afterwards. More Bombing Strike. Movement speed is actually pretty nice here. Weapon damage and attack speed. Uh, I probably want to grab that as well. Shotgun. Really slow on the minigun this run. That's with a lot of XP bonus early on as well. Pump action evolution. Boxing gloves would be pretty good to have. That's actually pretty good as well. Plus 100% damage with decent uptime. More pump action. More bombing strike.
decent armor, dodge, don't really care. Pump action, that's getting close to the evolution finally. Damage and attack speed. Rocket launcher, eh, wanna get the full attack speed. Let's just re-roll into the minigun here, there we go. Minigun. Minigun. XP, probably not at this point. Instant reload on a Power up is pretty good. So that should be enough for the next thing. I guess the laser isn't that good. This guy's higher and he barely even had the minigun before I got that. But you can also scale it up with a bit of elemental damage, which I don't think I had there. So what's the next mode again? Hardcore, which is just a bit harder. So same build is probably fine for that, but I'll probably just swap engineer for Huntress again. So I might want to change that back again. Actually, I don't think I banished any ice stuff, so it's probably fine.
Ricochet. Actually, this is pretty short, so I might want to banish some not very good skills here. Helicopter is very slow and pretty small area. And then I probably want to get the pistol maxed ASAP. In these short modes, you just want to get the power as fast as possible. Pistol, I can probably banish grenade trail as well. And that'll help with some of the later guys that I'm getting. Pistol. SMG already. Yeah, you're definitely going to want some movement speed on one hit mode. Those homing things are already almost as fast as me. SMG. SMG already ready for the assault rifle, and I should be guaranteed it with the ability bands I have now. There we go. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. I uh, don't think I care about any of these here. Let's banish that or that and then reroll, maybe find something good. It is pretty early, I guess I could get a bit of value from that. This is literally the earliest you can get it before a single rescue. Assault rifle is max. I can start getting some ricochet now. One percent weapon damage. Oh yeah. Do I want the huntress already? Sure. Eagle eye would help the assault rifle a decent amount. Movement speed is very helpful here. Let's banish armor. Got some more eagle eye. Ricochet will help my AoE quite a bit. More Eagle Eye. And Eagle Eye is maxed now. Probably max out Ricochet as well. Go all in on the Assault Rifle for the start. That's getting close to max. Finish off Ricochet and then start getting the bow upgrades. I could get some value from that early on, I guess. Arrow penetration. Probably banish arrow rain since that seems to be pretty weak. Grab some more pin. More bow.
grab the tank. I think I will grab a level Imperia Unleashed to have the buff occasionally. More bow. That's ready for the first evolution. Multi shot, there we go. Probably some movement speed, finish ability. Multi shot. Probably the shotgun here. Big weapon damage. Probably the turrets. now. Finish off the shotgun first level. It's feeling a bit hard for me to see the SOS guys who are on the same screen as a bunch of the glowing green stuff since they're all kind of just glowing green there. Pump action, probably don't want explosive. Arrows evolution. Yeah, the amount of damage you take without even getting hit on this map seems a bit too high for one hit mode. I don't think that's going to be realistic until they tune it and fix the bugs a little bit. I'll give it a couple shots later on, probably, if I get to it. but I'm not gonna like bash my head into a wall when it doesn't seem that realistic currently. I think it's doable, it would just be pretty frustrating to do enough attempts to get it done. Got some freezing arrows. Got some attack speed, I can banish ability crits. Freezing arrows. So I'll definitely want Medic and probably Huntress for freezing arrows and crit stuff. More freezing arrows, max that out. I'm not sure who would be best on top of that. Maybe just SWAT for the early game weapon power and the fast shooting plus ricochet.
got some more pump action. Pump action, that's ready for minigun now. penetration to finish that one off. Pills is pretty good. Finish off the minigun. Fury is maxed out. I don't think there's anything super useful now. Bombing Strike has some decent AoE. Banish the ability damage, grab crit chance. More bombing. Some instant reloads are kind of helpful. That's about to be maxed out. Take the bombing strike final level. Let's see, I don't have any banishes left. I think minefield is probably the best damage here. Sawblade Drone actually is pretty good if enemies are getting close to you, but that's not happening that often here. Minefield. That's actually not too bad for a level there. I think I have one minute left, so this is almost over now. Looks like it's ramping up a lot at the end. Yeah, that's a lot of bosses all of a sudden, wow. Got some zombie decoy. Honestly, maybe just grab some weapon bonuses at this point. It's almost over anyways.
So I think that should be extermination mode now, which is the new mode. Yeah. So you have to clear a certain number of waves and you're supposed to do it pretty quickly. I really have no idea what the best way to do that would be, so I'm just going to stick with the same build for now. Pistol is pretty weak early on. And they aren't dropping any XP? Huh? So I just have to clear everything with this crappy pistol? What? So I'll definitely want some banishes here. Helicopter is going to be hard to aim. That actually might not be bad to have like one level in early on, but eh. Weird. Where are they? <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine such a weak start is going to be very good for this mode. Shotgun might be a bit better since you can position yourself to hit with multiple bullets. Why is there something even down here? What? So, probably the tank? Uh, it might be better to liberate and get the assault rifle online as soon as possible for this. Pistol. SMG. That is so many things already, Jesus. They're just like destroying me with geometry patterns here. I care about any of this on this mode. Crit damage is okay, but not great. Let's just banish that and reroll. Ah, eh, these are pretty bad still. Ability, not super useful. These are pretty bad also. That's okay. I guess I'll take it. Probably banish some of this junk. Armor won't help. I guess movement speed is alright. Yeah, this build definitely does not seem to be the way to go here. My early AoE is just way too bad. Takes too long to get the ricochet and assault rifle going. Okay. 
assault rifle finally. Yeah, my AoE is just so bad. This is definitely not the build for this. A caster build might not be too bad here. You would at least have some AoE already. I could have grabbed some ricochet, but I don't think an extra 10 or 20% damage would have made that much of a difference. Especially when you're giving up like attack speed and cooldown reduction and stuff for it. Huntress, I guess. Those are decent. I'll take the double damage. Ooh, these are bad. Let's get rid of duration and grab weapon crit damage, I guess. Probably banish arrow rain at this point. Maybe decoy. Grab eagle eye. I really need some SWAT upgrades here, I think. Assault Rifle... let's grab a little bit of Ricochet. Assault Rifle, a little bit more Ricochet. Try and focus the range guys first so I have more room to move around here. Mod chip is pretty good. I don't have a lot of crit yet in this mood. More ricochet. Finish off the assault rifle.
Man, there are a lot of ranged dudes in some of these waves. I probably just want the tank again, I think. Ghost would actually be pretty good here. Ghost might actually be a decent starter if you get his one really strong AoE weapon early. Eh, I'll take him. Vanish. Health regen. Do you get rares if you reroll? Okay, that's a bit nicer. But these are pretty bad. Cooldown's okay. More ricochet. Ability, eh. Take the eagle eye for more crit stuff. Weapon damage attack speed is pretty good. Eagle eye, more crit stuff. Bow. So many things you literally can't even avoid them. What? Trying to trim down the range guys a bit so there's a bit more room to move around. Big attack speed. Probably arrow pen or maybe katana. His weapon's pretty good once it gets evolved. Finish off Eagle Eye. I can't move. What? Take the katana. I might want lifesteal just because there's a lot of unavoidable damage here. 
I could actually run into a point where there's so much that I might just die before I can do anything. Bow or katana is actually higher, and I can get the AOE on that. Katana splash probably at this point. I'm gonna try and go near a wall and see if maybe that will focus enemies to one side. And see what that does for their spawn pattern. Because there is currently a lot of unavoidable damage, so I'm gonna see what happens. See if I can push through one side now. That seems like it might have worked there. Oh, they actually do spawn in multiple waves here, it looks like. What just hit me, huh? Let's see if I can get back to the wall and try that again, see what happens. I guess arrow pin, katana splash, katana splash, and then thousand cuts should be pretty good here. Oh god, I've made him a- wait, what? I just died without even getting hit? What? So this mode is just completely bugged apparently. <laughs> Let's try a different strategy for that. So do I want to try caster here? Sure. Oh, I have to... Wait. Yeah, I guess I do have to redo my items for that, which is kind of annoying. They'll probably want to add multiple item pages eventually, so you can have like a caster page, a weapon based page, stuff like that. I guess most of these are just not useful. That would be good for weapon or caster. Probably don't want armor there. Weapon, probably not. See, I have zero bands currently. I guess this will probably work for... Actually, I would want that and that. In fact, that's basically required for it. Definitely want that, and that, probably ban that, yeah it's Pretty annoying going through and setting up all of this stuff multiple times for different builds and stuff. We can ban two more. It's probably not necessary. Just ban some random weapon stuff. So, engineer. Try an AoE caster build here. I don't know, it just seems weird that there's so many enemies you can't avoid them, but at the same time it kills you if you move through them. It just seems like something is off with that design. So I want energy shield first to try and get that up a lot, I think. Do I want to ban anything? 
I'm honestly not sure. I'm not super versed in caster builds. There is one more thing here. So I might want to ban Taser just so I can get all the caster things a bit faster. Let's see, that'll go down to 45. So if I can't kill everything with that, I might be in trouble. I might want an electric turret as well. And then I think Pyro is a pretty good caster as well. And then I guess maybe Ghost Third just for the ability crit stuff he has. Ghost Tank. I might want to liberate and just push the Engineer levels for now. Energy Shield. Probably want to push the uptime on that now. Actually, Electric Turret might be pretty good. Range and Duration. Cooldown on that is so slow. I might actually try that. Max out electric turret, so about double the uptime versus cooldown now. And some extra range on top of that. So let's banish that. That won't do a whole lot for this build. Let's see what else we got. Big elemental damage. That's also pretty nice. I might take that and lock that down. Actually, I think cooldown reduction is very important here. So I'll lock that and take that for now. Let's banish some stuff here. I could re-roll and try and get cooldown reduction or area would be pretty good as well. Duration actually might be good. Let's grab the duration probably. I think that and cooldown reduction are pretty important. More energy shield. Area would be great as well. I'm not dropping any turrets. Jesus, dude, there's just so much unavoidable damage. Why do they even stay up there and spawn up there? What? Crap. Let's see. 20 second, 20 second. That one has more range, so that might be better.
Like, I just don't understand the gameplay of this. There's just so much unavoidable damage. What? The enemies spawn in patterns where you literally can't avoid them. Are they trying to force you to take tank stats or something? So, Pyro has some good caster stuff. Elemental damage, that's actually not bad either. Might lock that down and grab that. Spanish weapon attack speed. Could grab some crit chance. I don't know, I might want like area or cooldown here. Cooldown. Uh, probably want to max out Electrocution, that gets range and cooldown. Like, here they spawn in a way where you can actually avoid everything they do as I run into the wall and get hit by that. But on most of the waves, you have to run through, like, at least three plus melee guys to get anywhere. I just don't understand that part of it. It makes sense when they give you a chance to avoid damage. And then having one of these extremely slow guys spawn on the entire other side of the map doesn't really make sense either. Electrocution max. I think Firewalk is pretty good. Like, it's fine if you have to take two hits because you can survive that on any build. But sometimes there's just so many enemies that you're guaranteed to die no matter where you stand. Damage is a decent amount, but I probably want to grab that. Let's go ahead and lock that. Grab the EMP. EMP. Why is that turret smaller than that one? What? Maybe you need Medic on this mode for the healing.
Uh, maybe I should. It seems like you have to have the survivability. Ability crit chance. Would be pretty good damage, but I think I need the duration and cooldown reduction to get that stuff going. Spanish weapon. Ability cooldown. Let's grab a level in that, so if I get forced into a death, then I can actually come back a little. That's okay to scale up as I take damage. I don't know, I guess you just have to have Medic in your build for this mode. Movement speed wouldn't make that much of a difference because they just spawned all around you. Grab the big electric damage. Let's banish that. Firewalk, I suppose. Uh, I could grab that for some extra healing. Ability duration would be good. Probably banish HP region. EMP grenade. Firewalk. Like, it's completely fine when there's some areas to move around like that, but so many of the waves don't even give you that. Although it's a bit weird when the ranged attacks are hitting you like that when they miss you. Probably the no pain, since I am taking a lot of damage, that might be decent. Electric damage is decent. I just finish that one. I guess I'll try locking that. Let's see, 
Probably more no pain. Max out EMP. Max out firewalk. Super slow guys on the other side of the map really just does not make sense. Max out no pain. I guess some more healing would be pretty good. More healing. Probably get some more area of effect as well. is pretty good. Spanish weapon stuff. Uh, duration's still quite good as well. Transplant Ology. Molotov Cocktail has duration. That's probably decent. Have the turrets blocking a decent area for me here as well. That guy is turbo sprinting at me, what? Cocktail. Max that out. Ah, uh, that doesn't deal elemental damage, but it would distract them a bit, so that might be helpful.
pull him into the turrets. Big elemental, but I could also get some cooldown there. These are honestly all great. It's actually pretty good with all the unavoidable damage here. Probably want the cooldown. Ability duration is pretty nice. Makeshift bomb. Max that out. And then probably get a level in that for the functionality. That'll have some okay uptime with my duration and cooldown. Mainly for the movement speed. Try and bait out some of their attacks up there, take a ton of unavoidable damage for some reason. I run faster than those, but sometimes when they're close to me, they just speed up and hit me instantly. Let's see, five second duration would help that quite a bit. So the cooldown would be 12.5, and it would last about five or six currently. Having the extra movement speed would be pretty useful. Uh, that would be decent. I might want to get the Freezing Flask eventually though to help out with some crowd control. If I get a bit more cooldown and duration, I'll probably have 100% uptime on the movement now without having to put too many more points into it. Bait out some of the attacks over there and then kite around. Gun and go for the freezing flask soon. Cooldown reduction. More handgun. Get the syringe gun. That's going to be pretty low damage with my chemical debuffs currently. But I have almost no weapon scaling stuff, anyways. I could still use some extra area. Oh my god, dude, there's so much stuff there. Yeah, I don't see how you play this without having Medic. This is insane.
I guess a bit more cooldown reduction. That's actually pretty valuable at this point, since it's over twice as effective with 55 already. Get the syringe gun. Syringe gun, look for the freezing flasks. There we go. That'll help out a bit with crowd control. I guess I should kite back to where all my turrets are set up. There's just so much stuff on the screen. are kind of weak. I might take that just in case there's like a ton of unavoidable damage here to help survive that quite a bit. Uh, if I get that to a level where I get the attack speed to reload improved, that would be helpful. That is probably close to 100% uptime already. Let's just look for the freezing flask again. There we go, extra reload. So, final wave, this is probably going to be really dumb. I'm trying to set up some turrets out here. That will give me some more room to move around them. And also kill a lot of the stuff before it can get close to me. Try and get back into the turrets. There's so much stuff right now. I think we're clear now. Just trying to pull them into the turrets to get the big damage. So Caster did seem a lot more effective there. Huge zones where they can't really go with all the turrets stacked up there. Would have liked to get a bit of ability area there, but oh well. Finally did it. One of the items that would have made a huge difference is the bells and whistles. Ability area plus duration would have made a huge difference there. I did get quite a bit of elemental damage though, and both of my casters were elemental base, so that wasn't too bad. I think I'm gonna save one hit for later since this is running pretty long. But I think there was a bit too much unavoidable damage in that mode. It just feels 
kind of strange in a survivor's game to have huge amounts of unavoidable damage since they're pretty like skill based and reflex based but that's going to be it for now toss me a like or a subscribe if you liked the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time